New Zealand, southern New Zealand, has found a way to fight global warming in a new, cooler type way. They have made it their mission to reduce light pollution and air pollution in order to make the air and sky uh, ozone better, in order to see night, the stars at night better, creating the first ever uh, starlight reserve in southern New Zealand. And this is a really cool thing to do because if you think about it, um, when you're trying to fight global warming, it's going to take a long time to see any real, any real effects. And the benefit of the doubt is you know that um, the planet is healthier and we can live longer on this planet, I guess. But uh, what these people have added the concept of actually seeing the difference and what this would do over time is that with less light and air pollution you'll be able to see the stars in nighttime better making it uh, much more of a tourist attraction and you'll be actually be able to see the difference between now and what will be so this is a really cool way to fight global warming by actually being able to uh, get a little something back by fighting global warming a new medical um, Miracle, I guess you can say, has just popped up once again in the field of medicine. Uh, a scientist has made a new pill for um, to increase brain activity. And what this pill does is it basically adds, well, in a sense, oxygen to the human brain, causing uh, the person to take it to gain about 10, maybe in 15 years worth of memories and brain power in a week's worth of pills. And what it does is, like I said, it basically feeds the brain oxygen. When a brain reaches the age of 50, the brain is basically starving for oxygen. And what this pill does is it puts oxygen back in the brain, in a sense, and increases the brain activity to make the person much more s smarter, confident, and focused. It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's... Super Kitty? What happened was, uh, this house well, didn't burn down to the ground, but pretty close. Everything was, was destroyed inside by the fire, and everything was just destroyed. The firefighters took out the fire, the fire chief went in, you know, did some inspecting. He went downstairs into the basement to be met by none other than Super Kitty! And the, the cat was just fine. You know, it was the house cat, it was... Completely healthy, didn't have a scratch, mark, burn mark, nothing. It was, just, it was just right there in the basement, just greeted the, greeted the uh, fire chief with a nice meow, and lo and behold, we now have Super Kitty. I've got a tip for you ice fishermen. If the ice starts to melt, that means get off the lake. Apparently about 850 ice fishermen on Lake Erie did not think that. Um, see, what happened was that due to um, some warm weather we've had lately up here in the northern states, um, the ice was starting to melt away, and 800, 800, 150 fishermen were about still out on Lake Erie ice fishing, and sure, sure enough, um, a huge chunk of ice broke off from land and went out into Lake Erie, killing one person. And while the other, the rest survived, the police were saying that this was just a huge mistake for them to be doing this because they had warnings of that the ice was melting and it needed to get off. I mean, guys, is it really worth your life to go ice fishing when the when you've been told that the ice is melting away and that the fact is you shouldn't be out there because there could be something like this could happen? Apparently, these 150 fishermen did not think that and they decided to gamble and risk it. And now one man is dead because of it. Guys, when the ice melts, you need to get off the lake. Super Kitty can't be there every day to save you. And last but not least, uh, New York Yankees player Alex Rodriguez tested positive for steroids back in 2003. What? You liar! And if you're really surprised by that, you need to wake up and see the light of day because apparently you've been in some sort of weird PCP LCD coma type dealy where you believe all oh, everything is good and the New York Yankees are nice innocent people. Eh, they're not. Maybe Super Kitty should have showed them the difference between right and wrong. Well, that'll be it for this episode of the show. Until next time, take care and God bless.